I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the custom Facebook feed WordPress plugin and show you just how easy this is to set up. So I've just installed the plugin and I'm going to go to the Facebook feed menu here on the left and all you need to display your post is the ID of the Facebook page or group that you want to display. If you don't know your page ID then just follow the directions here to help you find it. So that's all you need to do in order to display your posts. I'm just going to grab the custom Facebook feed shortcode here and I'm going to go to a page that I've already set up, paste in the shortcode and if I view my page you'll see that I'm displaying the latest post from the BBC News Facebook page. The feed is fully responsive and so will adapt to the size of your screen. So this is displayed using the half width layout and you can see below its post we have the number of likes, shares and comments along with a drop down list of the most recent comments for each post. So every part of the feed is customizable and if I pop back over to the settings page I'll give you a quick overview of some of the options. So here I can choose whether to show posts by just the page owner, by everyone or just other people, how many posts to display and how often the plugin should check Facebook for new posts. So if I go to the customize page you can see that I can select the types of posts to display. It can also display posts based on the particular string or hashtag. I can select a layout or choose which parts of the post to hide or display. I can change the colors and formatting of any of the text in the feed. I can customize the header text and icon. Set a maximum character limit on the post text. Change the date format. Change the color, weight and size of any of the text and links along with a bunch of other options. If I go to the Misc tab, I can set some options on the comments box and the like button. And I can also add any custom CSS or JavaScript. You can also change or translate any of the text strings in the plugin to say whatever you like. So one of the great features of the plugin is that you can use the shortcodes to display as many Facebook feeds as you like. You can use the shortcut options to customize each feed. So I'm just going to use the default WordPress text widget and I'm going to paste in a shortcode which I already put together. So you can see that I'm using a different Facebook page ID along with some other shortcut options. And you can find a full list of all these shortcut options in the documentation section of the Smash Bloom website. So I'm just going to put in one more shortcode which will display photos from another page ID. So if I go back to my page now, you'll see that we have a second and third feed. The first feed shows events from a Facebook page and the second one shows only photos. So you can see that we have the event image, the event details with a link to the venue's Facebook page and also a map of the location. And it also displays the like button at the bottom of the feed. And as we set a height on this feed, a scroll bar is automatically added. And beneath that you can see that we're displaying only photos from a different Facebook page. So hopefully this has given you a little taste of just how customizable and versatile this plugin is. And we're rolling out new features all the time to make it even more awesome. So if you have any questions then just let me know either on Twitter, Facebook or via the contact form on smashballoon.com.